Frank's family. Guys, today I'm bringing you guys a video that makes me so happy. If you guys look behind us, we are at an RV sales facility. To be specific, we are VIP today at General RV Center. Guys, this was all possible due to one of our race family members, subscriber to our YouTube channel. A few months ago, Eric and I went to an RV place and we were looking, we posted a picture on Instagram. He reached out to us and made us feel comfortable and the second we were ready to buy, which was now, a couple weeks ago, we reached out to him. We've been in negotiations, discussing what motorhome will fit our needs and today, guys, I wanna present you guys mine and Erica's dream motorhome. We never thought we would have something like this. We may or may not have gone overboard, but that's us, baby. We love this thing. Check out our 2021 Holiday Rambler Armada 40M. This thing is beautiful. Take a look for yourselves. It's got three slide outs. It's a diesel pusher, a class A diesel pusher. This thing will have more than enough power to pull our, our enclosed trailer with our race car. We already have our first trip in less than a week. And I'll give you guys more of that information later. It's a racing trip, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. We're gonna make epic content there. Let's do a quick walk around. So I mentioned three slide outs. It's got two slide outs on this side. You know what, we can already record the other side. It's got double awnings on the other side for entertainment, double awnings, a TV on the outside. This thing is crazy. <laughs> there goes my beautiful girl over there. Guys, it has a massive, maybe we're from a distance, a massive slide out on this side. It matches the super colors perfectly, man. This thing makes me so, here, let me actually walk around now. This thing makes me so crazy happy. Race family, I haven't even driven this yet. We're about to jump in it now and take it back home. We live three and a half hours away. I hope the camera can pick up the colors nicely. Look at this huge awning. There's two of them, massive. This is a 40 foot bus. There's almost 40 feet worth of awning space. LED lights are off now, but LED lights all in these strips. There's LED lights all underneath the bus on all corners. Diesel pusher, so the engine's back here. A large tow hitch. Guys, this thing is awesome, awesome. Let's run inside and check out the interior. I can't wait to get this thing on the road, get home, show family. But the race family had to see it right away, baby. Look at this, guys. Keep in mind, we're, we're still learning this thing. We've only had it for a few minutes. We're still in the dealership. But guys, this is, again, beyond. Look at my beautiful girls. Lonnie, the race family. Yes, look at her with her racing shirt. Guys, yes, check this out. Guys, one of the things that I love so much about this motorhome is how futuristic and modern everything was. This steering wheel is freaking awesome. Air brakes, air bags, all, all the freaking, look at this. Looks like a damn Motec display. It's got cameras all around. The cameras also serve as surveillance cameras for all around the bus. You name it, navigation, push start keyless entry it's very very modern he's got a tv here i'll show you guys more with more time but this is a drop down bed that comes from the top baby show your show your new house off <laughs> it's beautiful i don't know how to turn the tv on though okay we're still learning they gave me like about like 20 remotes there's a remote for everything oh my god where are they i think the ones for this i kept here so he's got a blu-ray dvd player all sorts of stuff guys there's four tvs here's one there's another i mentioned this being a bed this turns into a bed these are full recliners look at leilani she's having a blast <laughs> race family Dilo tu. yes guys conventional microwave a dishwasher in our motorhome gotta be kidding me look at this I think this is like what is this called a Farmhouse sink. Far, I almost said country house. Farmhouse sink. A full-size residential refrigerator. Look at this, guys. My goodness. So this is beautiful. Everything for the motorhome, the awnings, the generator, the lights, everything is controlled through these keypads. Also on our smartphones, we can do everything. So that, guys, these floors are heated. So whenever we go to, let's say, a cold event, these floors will be warm. There's a, there's a, I don't know the name of this thing. A fireplace. It, yeah, a fire. This fireplace is awesome. It, it lets out actual heat. The artwork, all the cabinet space. This table can pull out further, and we can put two more ch uh, chairs here. Ooh, check this out. This is actually a half bathroom. Look at the smart little keypad there on the wall. So this is a half bath. Plenty of cabinet space. Perfect for when we have guests over. King size. Look at Leilani's putting all her toys here, guys. King size mattress that pushes up for more walking space here. Just 
I guess, yeah, more space. This bed comes down, king size, uh, USB outlets on the sides. There's a whole wall here that closes, a whole door. Look at that. Bam! Two wardrobe closets, another TV here. Guys, this is awesome. This is our full bath. Check this out, double vanities, beautiful lighting. I'll show you guys again at night, but beautiful lighting everywhere. There's a view out, closets here, another toilet. Guys, look at this, a full-size shower. This thing is just crazy. I've never seen a motorhome like this, much less did we think we'd own one, but this thing we're gonna keep for a long time. My idea is to take it to as many racing events as possible, and not just racing events, but take our family out on vacation, travel. Over the next couple of months, Eric and I would like to travel all over the United States. We're gonna do as much traveling as possible, as much of it with our race car. Occasionally, we won't bring the race car, and we'll just go travel to explore and just meet new places but full-size shower the guy was saying that that other toilet and the other bathroom even has like a heater the toilet warms up the floor warms up there's three AC units in this coach guys there's a washer and a dryer oh my goodness so there's too much to show you guys briefly but ultimately we're crazy excited this is gonna make our again on track experiences just so much better so we couldn't be happier Thank you to Thomas. Thomas is our race family member that reached out. He works at corporate for this company. He reached out to us and made this deal possible. So thank you, brother. And Chris, who works with them, who was our sales guy, just everyone involved, we're extremely grateful. And I'm gonna leave the most important thing to my wife to say. I haven't shared it yet. Today is, what is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday the 28th. Today's my sister's birthday. Where are we heading in less than a week? In less than a week. Maryland guys for World Cup <laughs> race family I've never been to World Cup this year I do know it's a little different because of the COVID-19 they're not calling it a World Cup is more so of a, a derby is what they're calling it a Hail Mary Derby but nonetheless I've never been up that way for racing or anything else in, in general so we're gonna go we're taking the Baltic Supra and our goal is to go faster than the 752 at 186 miles an hour I would love and I'm saying this number to bring it into into the universe, right? Bring it into existence. Seven three. Guys, we want to run a at seven a seven thirty at 190 miles an hour. If you guys go back to a few of our videos back when our engine was being built by Road Street Performance, that was a goal that I set. I don't like setting goals that are be crazy beyond out of reach. I'm not saying that goal is easy, but I felt it was something I could obtain, something I can do. We've had the car on the road for about a week, and we went from. Our previous best of 770 to a 752 at 186. Our next goal is to go a 730 at 190, ideally in Maryland. If we do that and we take that goal off our bucket list, even before trying to go any quicker in a quarter mile aspect of it, I know with time we'll keep making improvements and we'll get there, but our very next goal is to go over 214 miles an hour in a standing half mile. So the second Maryland's over with, I really want to turn my focus to half mile racing. And you guys will be there for all of that. So we got to drive home. I'll get some cool videos on the way home. Come on, race family. Guys, you guys are going to witness our first drive in this bad boy. If we don't make it out alive, you guys witness it on video. All right. This thing is far. You probably got to go under here. That's crazy far. All right, got our seat belts. Now how do we go? All right, guys, this thing's got air brakes. So check this out. Here it goes. Air brakes are off. You did that lowering thing thing. We're in the drive position. Yep. Yeah, our airbags are good. All right, guys, we're going. Woo! This thing got trans orange, baby. That's awesome. You should probably map how to get home. Okay. <laughs> Guys, you can't hear the engine at all. It's a diesel pusher. The engine's 40 feet away. Can't hear nothing. You know what else I should do? I should probably get my other camera. Show you guys a view looking forward. Wow. Race family, this thing cruises. We're only going nine miles an hour, but you can't even feel the road. Wow, babe. 
We have Leilani back there just hanging out. This is what the home looks like with everything uh, retracted, everything pulled in. But guys, here we go. Look at this beautiful display. Here we got a view. It's a rear camera view, but it really looks right behind the bus. It doesn't really look far back in the distance. Here's our radio. This also works as cameras. If I put my blinkers, you can see what the right side of the bus is looking like. If I put my left blinker, you can see the left side of the bus. Right now we're going 23 miles an hour and it is, feels like it's floating. Grace family, now keep in mind, this thing is a little over 40 feet long. Our trailer's 24 foot long and it has like a five foot, I guess like hookup in the front. I go left or right? Left. Guys, we're gonna be rolling around. Oh shoot, I didn't even know where the brake pedal was. That was scary. <laughs> That's what happened to me when I first started driving. <laughs> Mary's family, a funny story. When Erica first started driving, I think one of her first few drives, all right, I'll talk to you guys on that camera now. One of her first few drives, she was driving, I was passenger. And she took off with all the confidence in the world and made it to the end of the freaking road. And she lost which, she lost sight of the pedals. She wasn't sure what pedal was which, so she panicked and didn't press either of them. She froze and didn't press the gas or the brake, and I had quick reactions. I pulled the e-brake, and we skidded almost to the beginning of the intersection. We cleared all cars. It was scary. But I was there to take care of my baby. I know. I froze. That would never happen now. I, <laughs> I was young and didn't know anything. Race family, I just heard a beeping. This thing has lane assist. If we get near the edge, it'll beep and warn us. Wow, it shifts so smooth and accelerates fast. I'm barely on the throttle. Look at this. Oh, there goes beeping again. I gotta stop filming. Why? Because you're going off the road. I'm, I'm getting close to the line, so it tells me. Guys, we're going 50 miles an hour, and it feels so nice. It's got incredible brakes, too. Holy smokes. Wow. 51 miles an hour. I'm squeezing the throttle, maybe like a quarter throttle of anything. And again, I can't stress how smooth this is an air ride, obviously. I think it's a, it's a freight liner chassis here. Oh, there goes the beeping again. This thing is huge. If, if I even go an inch to either corner, it'd be, it's a big bus. Um, I was saying, it's a freight liner chassis or it's something to do with Titan too. It's, it's just something about Titan on the side. Titan chassis or freight liner chassis on airbags and just incredibly smooth. All right, guys, let me focus on my driving. I'm gonna cut this camera off. I'll leave it. I'll leave that one rolling. Or I won't have to hold anything. I can concentrate on the driving. more space to make the left turn right turns would be a lot tighter but even a right turn like this would be easy that car is so far back i don't even know the, the, the clearance of this thing i think it's like 13 feet we gotta keep an eye out for like bridges and stuff like that guys so our first drive now is during rush hour traffic it's literally 5.55, it's almost 6 p.m. There's a lot of cars out on the road. Babe, I just, it feels so buttery smooth. This thing is incredible. Look at all these trees. Just cleared it. All right, now what? Uh, right, right, right here? 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 Right here?